right. This is going to be nice and fun. Hello, ladies. Yeah. Ladies, gentlemen, and pizza heads. Boys and girls of all ages. Oh, what? Uh, I still need to be cut. You're good. We, we cut him already. All right. But, um... Oh, yeah, so you have a YouTube channel before we get started. Yeah. Now, we made... Now, we made a uh, bet, kind of. If, uh, if he wins, yes. I'll subscribe to his channel. If I win, he has to subscribe to my channel. I agree. I'm also subscribing to him anyway. <laughs> anyway, I its current name is Haven't You Heard the New Sensation Sweeping the Nation? Okay. That'll and that, that's a direct reference to uh, Helsing Ultimate Abridged. Yes. Haven't you heard the new sensation sweeping the nation? You want to play poker to see who goes first? We didn't do. Oh. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Uh, I wish I brought my rock, paper, scissors cards. I actually have those. Okay, we'll play rock, paper, scissors. There, there are rock, paper, scissors cards? There are, yeah. All it's right. A, it's a different game, and even in that game, it's a joke set, but still, still. Okay. Ready? Rock, One, two. So, why are we playing shoot? We are doesn't, playing shoot. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so rock, paper, scissors, shoot? Just before we do that, so that we don't have one person throw it. Anyway, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ready? Okay, rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. All right. Uh, I would like to go second, actually. You would like to go second? All right. Like that, yes. that means I go first. That's it. Okay. I'll start. Kev. One card face down. Yes. And this in defense mode. Yes. All Here right. we go. Yes. I would like to. Uh, What's your up? YouTube channel? I am T1 Listener Elf. T1 Listener. It's a. It's my favorite card in another card game. And I started this as a. We'll, we'll, we'll do this afterwards if you don't mind, because we are still recording. Yeah, I know. All right. But I, but we got to keep track of the life points. Oh, uh, we have dice. They're they're over here, doing their thing. Um, I think that the audience can probably see this a little bit more easily than just doing it on paper, so that's why I have it set up this way. Wait, how does that card work? Oh, uh, I draw a card, but I give you a thousand life points. Oh. Yeah. I see. So you have like a bunch of cards that allow you to draw more cards. Cards, cards everywhere. <laughs> um, I would like to run a Reborn Tengu into your face down. Oh, man. Oh, it's a gut. Ah. Well, okay. And then I will pass the turn to you. Alright. All right. I play the spell card, Dark Bolt. It destroys all the monster cards on the field. And then I'll Treeborn Reborn Tengu's trigger Reborn Tengu's effect. Because it, yeah, it's when it's removed from the field. So, where are you? What? You get to summon another one? Yeah. Sorry. It's not when it's even if it's uh, Well, there's only two, because it's only legal of two. Right. I play Necro Valley. Uh, ne oh, uh, if you don't mind, could we uh, scooch that just a bit, because... Uh, yeah, but the field spell goes here. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll adjust the dice so that they're, like, right here, or something like that. Okay. I'll set this and turn. It's whatever works. I'd like to give you another. It's now officially over 9,000. I had to. Alright. Oh, so that's how we're keeping track of the life Yes, points. yes, that's what I'm on about. And I have not drawn, have I? Or have I drawn? No. Okay. But can't you only play that on your turn since it's a normal spell? Uh, yes, it is my turn. Uh, you passed the turn to me after you said it. Yeah, but uh, wouldn't you have played that after you drew? Uh, I, let's see, okay, so just to make sure, when it, I went up to my turn, I had six cards in hand, I played an upstart and a playset, so I'm still at six cards. I played the Raven Taken and I'm five. I draw for turn, and then I play Upstart Goblin and replace it. So uh, we're good now, we're good. Okay. Kind of had to like run through how that Yeah, goes. sorry. It'd be nice if we could just like watch this live, like re watch the recording live. Watch it back. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's not how time works though. Time and time. Anyway. Oh dear. 
But uh, this will be a good method to get some subscribers on my channel, and then I'll... I will start off by... Uh, oh, that's, that's risky. But do I do it? Do I swing into his face down? I will swing into your face down. Gaga -ga girl. Alright, you don't do anything when you hit the yard, right? Yeah. You can target when you control. Okay, okay, interesting. And that art. I can dig that art. I love, like, some of these Main two. Main two. Main two. Um, we're going to. This actually looks like something. Yeah, that's right. That's greedy. Uh, I'm gonna check my extra deck. Wow. Well, I think Andrew brought this. Just check in the extra deck for a sec. Promise, no, no shenanigans are happening. Totally promise that. So you said you had like 500 subscribers? Thereabouts. Not. It, we're not at 500 quite yet. Fiend Sanctuary? I'm gonna uh, crap out a token. And I'm just gonna, for the purpose of this, pretend that that's the token, but it is in the graveyard. Or we can use one of the cards from my side deck as the token. Okay, that'll work. Um, I actually am about to tribute it, however, so it'll get right back. For a light and darkness dragon. Can be special summon, it's light and dark while it's on the field. If a spell or trap is activated or an effect monster's effect is activated, that activation is negated, but this thing will start to lose attack and defense. So Necro Valley is destroyed? No, no, Necro Valley stays. Um, but if it activates, uh, which it doesn't have any it doesn't have any effects that can activate. So this is still good. This still works. So what if I summoned a gravekeeper's monster? Uh, if you just summoned it, inherit summon, that's fine. But if you activate uh, an effect of a grave of a gravekeeper, then no, I mean like Necro Valley increases the attack points and defense that's fine. points. That's fine. That's perfectly all. fine. Yeah. He's not negating effects that are already here. It's uh, when a spell or trap is activated, or the effect of an effect monster is activated. And this has already done its job. It's already activated. But let, let, let's say you wanted to uh, you wanted to mirror force me. You would negate the mirror force. Uh, yeah. And then pass two. So if I activate an effect, the, the effect's negated. That's right. And then every time you do, he loses uh, attack and defense. Okay. Then I activate the trap DNA switcher. Okay. He'll negate it, and then now it goes down to 2300 attack. Okay. Your turn. Right. There we go. I would like to attack with my 23 to your face down. My turn? Oh, Gilles, Gilles Um uh, not, not yet. Let's say... Um, now. Now it's your turn. Set. End. Okay, I'll admit, I'm, I'm having fun. I shouldn't do that. I should not... I should just actually get this over with. Um, especially since you're at 10,000, I don't need to give you more time. Flip, TG Warble? Which does? Nothing. Not right now. It's when it is uh, sent to the graveyard, is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, then it has a trigger to go and get another TG monster. But for right now, that's not doing anything. It's just now able to attack. Okay. Um, <laughs> I will attack you. I'll go ahead and activate this trap card. Yes, all right. Of course, so it's, it's, it's negated. Yes, that's right. It's negated. Uh, but your I'm monster gonna... loses 400 of its attack points. I'm going to swing at you with 1800 now instead, right. and then TG Warwolf. So, in total, 3000 points. Yes. Then I have something to do in my second main. I will tribute. Uh, another... Light and Darkness Dragon. Another one? Another one. It refreshes its counters and its attack. Pass turn. And no, I don't get TG Wall because he wasn't destroyed. I don't get his trigger. Set. Okay. Next.
I need to get one of those cards. It's it's really good. Um, I don't think I have much of a. I'm gonna swing at your face down. I don't think I have much of a chance against a uh, spellbook deck unless I have something like him to help me out. He really does kind of make the deck. Um, and then Kostern, turn, yeah. Mm. That thing has 1500, right? Yes. So if you just used an inherent summon to get a stronger monster, you could kill it. Absolutely. I summon Gravekeeper's Assailant. It yes. gains 500 attack points thanks to Necro. It does. So he attacks. Does it. And you lose 500 life points. Yes. Yes, I do. Is there anything else? As if it's on the field and this declares an attack, you can select one. You're, okay. Uh, I would negate that. Except I haven't activated that effect. Wait, didn't you just attack? Yeah, but I don't have to use the effect if I don't want Oh yeah, you can. You can. That's true. Okay, very well. I'm sorry. Uh, this turn? Yeah. There sure are some powerful cards in the world. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. You ain't kidding. TG Warble. We're going to start with Light and Darkness Dragon killing the Great Keeper system. Uh, there's 800 life points. Um, don't you lose 1300? Because we haven't activated an effect to the game yet. And then TG Warble. No, I lose 800 because Necro Valley. Oh, Necro Valley! My apologies, I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, Necro Valley also makes it to where cards in your graveyard are unaffected by card effects except for their own. Okay, very well. And, uh,. That's it, past turn. After they both attack, they're they're tuckered out. Set. Yes. Wait. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Go for it. I summon Gravekeeper's Cannon, cannon Holder. All right. It has 1,900 attack points due to Necro. So yes. he attacks. Yes. At the end of turn, I'll use it. Uh, no, I won't. All right, pass turn. Yes. Is it a can, or is it something I have to do? During the end phase, you can. Okay, so I will choose not to, so that it works. All right. I need to get a hold of that card. It's pretty. It's pretty sick. Because you you realize that you basically killed my whole deck with that. Um, sorry. Do I have anything that can beat that? I'm going to normal summon Gilasaurus, so no effect. Uh, Light and Darkness will take out uh, Cannon Holder, and then Gilasaurus will swing afterwards. So 900 difference here because of Necro Valley, and then 1400. Okay, 900. So, oh, yeah. right, right. Yeah. It's all good. Um, so. That brings me down to... So what's... Hang on. Yeah. I'm starting to understand how you're using these dice. Okay. Wait and, then, and then you're attacking and then me directly the with Gilosaurus. So... Down to... Okay. 1,200. Alright, come on, deck. Let's turn. Set. Okay. And uh, I think I have kill on the field. Uh, I'll swing at your face down. And then Gila's will swing to the rest. It's effect. It's, it's effect which is negated. Yeah, which is negated. So that means that uh, it's destroyed before your attack even begun, isn't it? Uh, no, no, it, it's not. And then the Gilosaurus swims. Because I have to actually you attack win. it in order to get that part. Okay, so game two. But uh, Gravekeeper's Guard effect allows me to send one of your cards back to your That's hand. That's right. I used to play that in a control deck back in the day. Way uh, back I, in the day. Years I do not have anything that can counter that. Well, maybe maybe I won't draw it. Maybe you'll draw something better. Oh, by the way, so your choice is you'd like yes. to go... I would like to go first. Okay, good. 
because of the way my deck works, I generally decide to go first. Okay, fair enough. Set. Set. Ah, good, good. I'm going to cycle. I'd like to draw a card, but you'll gain some life. Yeah. Oh, dear God. Um, I don't know which one is right here. I would like to special summon Hardened Arm Dragon by discarding... by discarding... Beast King Barbaros. And then I will, in response, special summon TG Warwolf. And I will special summon a Fiend Sanctuary token. Oh, God. I will tribute all of them for the God King himself, Hobbless the Torment. Oh, I was gonna say, Sly for the Sky Dragon! Sly for the executive producer. And if you want me to, it, it is a hardened. Hardened. Of the so torment. what does that mean? Oh, so, uh, Hardened Arm Dragon has this funny little... It can be special summoned by discarding a high enough level monster. But the part about which I care most is that if you tribute this for the tribute summon of a level 7 or higher monster, like Obelisk, then they can't be destroyed by card effects. So say you had like a Mirror Force, it would not destroy Obelisk anymore. Obelisk also can't be targeted, can't be responded to when he's summoned, and has 4,000 attack. So, Obelisk is kind of a, kind of a dick like that. Yeah, I see that. Can I see what And then does? I would like to swing at your face. Drop card. Magic cylinder. Okay, there it can't be targeted. Uh, it's not targeting you. Let me make sure, let me... Uh, it says it's target, target. it just negates your attack, and then you lose 4,000 life points. Oh, when an opponent's monster. You're right, it does not when target opponent's monster. Uh, I think that works, doesn't it? This yeah. blah 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 can be negated, that's blah blah blah. Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't have a lot of This card is special. Yeah, that's one of those things where I would like to see if the text has been errated. Um, see, like, the official text of it, but... We'll, we'll go with it. All right, so I'm at 4,000. Yeah. Hey, okay, you've never targeted your opponent in you. Oh, you don't. You're right. You're right. Oh, no, no, this is target monster. If target monster would be doing that. Pass turn. And I'm just going to pull up the interwebs and see if I can find something about that. So I don't know this game as well as I would love to. Set and... Okay. 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 He can't be targeted. So. Yeah, I know. Um, pass turn. So I'm waiting on me too. Don't worry. are gonna have some fun. Necro Val. Okay. Is that it? Okay. That's all I really can do. I understand. Definitely. The obelisk is kind of a troll like that. Yeah. Um, and you've combined it with a monster that makes it incredible. My face down monster was Gravekeeper's Spy, so I can select another Gravekeeper's monster from my deck. Interesting. And summon it directly to the field. Okay. Uh, 1500 less attack. That's pretty good. And I'll summon another Gravekeeper's Spy. Okay. Not bad, huh? That's something. It gives you another blocker. It lets you stall for a turn. Yeah. I was gonna use it to summon, to tribute summon something, but then I yeah. realized the monster wasn't powerful enough. I understand. That's, that's the other thing about the Egyptian gods, is that they're so strong. I actually do have a trap that can counter Slifer and Ra. Interesting. Not in this deck, but I oh, do have yeah. a card that can counter. Have you ever heard of the trap reverse trap? I don't believe that I have, actually, to be honest. I'm sorry. Okay, so what is it? He can't be targeted? Yes. See. Dang it. Fortunately, the text on him is pretty current. Thank God. Um, oh dear, this is a... Uh, where's the search bar? On this... I'm looking at a website on my phone, it's terrible. I'm bad at this. Let's say, um, It's your turn. Cylinder. I have no choice but to end my turn. Okay. This sucks. 
You know, if, if it wasn't for that card, I could kill Obelisk. I believe you too. I do. Boom. Get out of the way. My turn? Yes. Obelisk might not be able to be targeted. You know what's Obelisk a good card against Obelisk? Scapegoat. <laughs> Obelisk might not be able to be destroyed by uh, cards, All right. but your other cards can. Yes. Dark Hole. Uh, that's correct. They were a hard armed dragon and a tree born frog. Under normal circumstances, that would kill an Obelisk, but he's hard -armed, so. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Alright, and that's true. And real quick, oh, wait, wait. I play Insect Barrier. Okay. And set one card. Interesting. Okay. It's your turn. Okay. Too bad Obelisk isn't an insect. How'd you summon him back? I have two more effects. I control no spells and traps. And oh, wait, 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 I have a monster out. You're right, I can't. It's only when I. Oh, it's when you don't control a tree born frog. Never mind, never mind. If this card is in your graveyard, you don't control a tree born frog. But wait, okay. Necro Valley. Oh, but, but it's by its own effect. I, uh, yes, it is by its own effect. Uh, that is correct. Dang it. But Obelisk's special ability will kind of be. Hurry about this way. Uh, yes, you have negated it, main two. I will set and pass turn. I'm trying I activate to Field Barrier. Okay. Now, Necrovelli can't be targeted, right? Yep. Okay. Not just that, New Field spells can't be played either. Interesting. I'll go ahead and play Chain Destruction on your. What does that do? On your tree, treeborn frog. Uh, well, I'm not really summoning a monster right now. Oh. Yeah. But it only works when you summon. Yes, it's when a monster is summoned. Oh. Fine. Your turn. Okay. Believe me, I could have killed Obelisk if it Obelisk worked. would like to swing at you. Yeah. And uh, I was roll you to 5,000. And then I'm going to play one day of peace. We need to draw one yes, card. Each draw, neither player makes damage. Has anyone cheerful coffee? Uh, sorry. Um, so that's it, past turn. I get another set out. Obelisk is finally, finally showing up to the party and doing his job. I special summon Gillosaurus. Uh, yes, I will special summon you from... No, I can't, I can't. Thanks to Necro. Yes, good job. And I set this down, too. Very good. Okay, your move. Very well. Of course, you could use Obelisk's effect to clean the field, but then Obelisk won't be permitted to attack. I have a better idea. Um... Double tribute. <laughs> Great. Now I can't use effects. Uh, Gilosaurus will be hit by Light and Darkness Dragon. Obelisk will hit the face down. And then... Last turn. Yeah, I think we have a pretty good lock going. It is a hard to Obelisk the turn. So, Dark Hole. He had a Dark Hole, which would have done it most of the time. Your turn. Uh, I don't think he's going to be winning in that fight. Oh, he's got too much dog. It's gonna kill you. It's a lot of fun. You can never have too much dog. He's got one shooting at Oh, wait, wait, wait. Light and Darkness Dragon. Alright, no take backsies. I'll trigger it. I'll trigger it. No take backsies. Now, fun little fact. Uh, Treeborn Frog can single handedly take down a Light and Darkness Dragon because this is not a once per turn, so you just keep doing it until Light and Darkness Dragon has five counters or is, uses its effect five times and they can't do it anymore. Um, that's if you control Treeborn, not me. Yeah, Obelisk will swing. 
negate uh, light and darkness, which is <laughs> thanks to my inability to play, apparently. And I just lost. And then, if you if we went to next turn, I'm about to... No, I'm not. Never mind. Wait. Why do I have 38? Why does it say 38? Oh, I'm sorry. It's 32. You're right. 32. Because light and darkness dragon has two counters on it. Okay. So does that mean it's my turn then? Yes, yes, it's your turn. <sighs> Book of Moon. Targeting... no, nobody. Doesn't matter. Your turn. Okay. And I'm gonna lose. I need to get that card! Where'd you so get it? Uh, Mm, not the store I am at right now, so I don't think that they would appreciate me telling that. Um, if I was slow rolling, I would wait till next turn and use these three to summon another obelisk, but otherwise I'll just swing at you. And will that be enough? Yeah, you lose. I mean, I lose. I lose. I lose. Dang it! I tried. I tried so hard. Oh, man. I lose. Are you I have a dark magician in my hand. Did he seriously yeah. have an obelisk on the field? A hardened obelisk, yeah. Some, most and of my the next day, card would have been Jurassic A. There we go. Most of the day my deck has hated me, but it's it's okay it's, it's okay this time. Uh, you just I'm sorry, I got lucky and, and you didn't, so that's that's, that's all that That's happens. not that's not what happened. That's not, uh, was there a misplay? No. What happened is that your deck is just stronger than mine. I'm actually thinking of changing it because so far today it hasn't been doing as well as I would have liked. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. So at the end of the video, give your uh, give your announcement about your channel or whatever. Give it a Your what? channel name is Um Anime Games? I would prefer not to use that one actually. Oh, okay. Okay. Um because I want to use uh, my We're other channel, haven't you heard the new list. sensation sweeping the nation? That is a really long name. Well, okay, it works. It works. I, I'm using that name as a reference to um, Helsing Abridged. Yeah, Helsing Abridged. What was he referring to when he made that? How did you heard the new sensation that's sweeping the nation? What was his? What was he referring to at that moment? Um, he says. Well, first he says, "Haven't you heard the new sensation sweeping the nation? Bitches love can." That one. That's what he was saying. All right. Are you guys done? We're done. Yeah, we're done.